What's up? And welcome to a NBA 2K15 video. And today we have an NBA 15 video. No, for real. We are in right now. So this is my career and um, I don't believe I'm in the starting lineup. Oh well. So I'm going to get, try to get in soon. So I can play for the Knicks. I was on the Atlanta Hawks, but then um, I had to re-sign with a different team. So I did that. I was very impressed with the balance they displayed, guys. Different people carrying the load, scoring, making assists, unselfish play. Everything was working for them to get that victory. And All right, should be going in. All right, there I am, number 98. There. So I'm the guy with the circle around me. And he's really been pulling his weight. And we're finding his name in a lot of different columns in the box school. Yeah, and that's what they're looking for from him, Steve. He doesn't have to be the star, just somebody with solid contributions across a wide range of areas. Just for the shoot. Here's Smith, and he banks in the layup. Sweet. Smith's that's got his yeah. first basket of the night. You see the defense get caught standing around that time, giving right, up the easy ball. second chance bucket. Simply needs more of an effort on the boards there, Steve. Here's Cohen. And here oh. falls the triple. That one was way off. Utah oh. That was a bad shot. Exo kicks to Burks. Right there. The Boom. The that, you know that wasn't me. <laughs> right he got there. 123 left to play in the first quarter. Boom! Oh, I got two points right there. Oh yeah. Here's Exum. He had 22 points in the win against Detroit. And Kevin, a lot of those points came at the line. So they might have been splashing those. His game, attacking the D and capitalizing on those free throws. Burks with it, and Barnyami picks him up defensively. Hayward dishes to Burks. Six to shoot. No good. And New York the other way now. Tough loss coming against Cleveland in their last game played. And they didn't get any second chance opportunities in that game. They were very few, oh. I should say. It was one and yes. done. Oh. Got it in. I look at it, Steve. Success on the offensive glass to me is about desire. I mean, you need positioning, you need time and jumping ability, but oh. it's more about desire. The willingness to I get in there and mix it play. up. And yeah. I just didn't see any of that I kind of point determination. Guard. Desire from that. Oh, Bad shot. What, what's that about? Not a good shot right there. Here's like what? I'll come to you, sir. Here's Exum. He's got five. Over to the left wing. Now here's Hayward. Goes up from the top of the key. Oh, got that chance, but I did not complete that. Oh, I had the perfect great air. I don't know why. Yeah, he was very solid. Just 
really locked in, engaged, on task. Oh. Here's Clarkson, goes back up. Out to Smith. In rebound. Here's Clarkson. It's all oh, for two. Time from Smith. Clarkson's got his first two points of the night, and they're beginning to fall. Right, apart a I got the ball right now. Taking well, it up. And boom! And he got the splash. Right. That's about half time right now. And so far, I've just got four points. I've done a lot better. I've got 14 points before. But got a rebound. Defensive rebound. Boom! On the three-point play. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. How the dish to Hayward. Pass to Vigenza. Nice ball from the Bayou's Yeah, that one's good. Hayward's got four points in the quarter. All the points these okay. defenders are allowing inside is inexcusable. That's five baskets in a row, and they've only practically laid Yeah, they've got to hard and toughen up down there, guys. Vigenza gets to Clarkson. Hayward passes to Smith. Here's Clarkson. And he gets it to go. And it's a four point jazz lead. Well, their plan of attack has been pretty clear to see. Get the ball inside and just take it strong to the loop. Be dominant in the lane. Well, the defense has been very slow to adjust. I mean, that's 10 straight points now inside. Inside. Here's Hayward. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Oh, he's in my man. He's got six points. The guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with the way they work down low. That's well, become one of the stories of the first half. Oh. Oh. That points in the thing. He's just trying to get something going, but that's not his shot. That's too far out. Man, in no way is that going to endear him to anybody on the coaching staff. Screen by Smith. Clarkson kicks to Hayward. No good from outside. Next trail by six. Here's Cohen. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. For Utah, they've got just over 50% of their shots to drop here in the second quarter. They're five for not, and the shot is good. It seems that every pass they make is leading to a score here. I mean, that's just exquisite ball movement. Yeah, they're making the right play, they're working together, and they're just looking for the best shot we can every possession. Super defensive play. I mean, if you move the ball to get them a look. Of course, so that's why he's so... Close game as we wrap up the second quarter. Hi, Kevin. All right, listen up, everybody. The second half doesn't have to be as close as... I'm just going to skip that because we're playing on the Xbox One. We're back, everyone. The second half is about to get underway. It's been a close one so far. We've seen Derek Favors really having a great game. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Hoping for a signature shoe sometime. Uh, tell me in the comment section below how many fans you need to get. He's off on the first. He's checked in for New York. And a switcher also for Utah. Smith checked in for Gordon Hayward. And he misses the second one as well, so he is all for two that time. Works with it. Matthews covering. The drive by Smith. Here's Gobert. It's rebounded by New York. Here's Speedy. He's got seven. Let's go. Oh, pulls it in. That was perfect. Can't get anything to and drop. And the way he's going, I'm not sure it's something he should try to yeah. shoot his way out of. No, that might only serve to make things worse, Steve. Sometimes the harder you try, the worse it gets. Exxon passes to Burks. Six on the shot clock, and it's Speedy with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. 
for the Jazz. Agents has checked in, and it's Clarkson in for Exmo. Agenza kicks to Burks. And foul hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. Oh, we got a moment here now, Kevin, to look back to last year's next. First in opponent field goal percent, third in free throw percent. And they were top ten in three-point shooting. That's a huge part of their offensive attack. And Clark, you know this. I mean, any time you see a team number one in the NBA in field goal percentage defense, you know they're getting after it. So this is a club that plays extremely hard. They take great pride in their defense. They have a concerted plan, a concerted effort every single night to try to stop the opposing team. And so he draws the foul on the shot on the line to shoot two. Here's the 2K leaderboard of last season's best free throw shooting team in third of the Knicks. You know, it's interesting when you look at this team, Kevin. I mean, they found a way to get their whole team to knock down free throws at a consistent level. I mean, a team that can't make free throws, that's a huge liability and one you don't want to deal with. They'd like to repeat their success at the line this year. Okay, I think there might be a jump skip. Let's see and find out. Um. Alright, here's the jump skip. Rough night, huh? Don't worry, it happens to everybody. He might say that, except me, of course. Here's another jump skip. Uh, hey, coach, I'm shaking, baby. Twin of these old balls. Hey, uh, so what you think? I think I was lucky to coach you as a high school player. <sighs> you are natural. Hey, thanks, coach, but I had a really great teacher. Oh. Gotta to get to the locker room. It's good to see you, all right? All right, I can't wait to see you. All right, man. Good job. Thank you. Yo, man, the GM's waiting for you in the training room. Says he got some great news for you. For what? Why is he in the training room? This is the man that holds your life in his hand. He wants to meet you in the training room, on a rocket. No matter, you go. He said hurry up. All right. <laughs> the classics never go outside. So let's see how many fans I got. Oh my. Look at that. Right, so we're now in the training center. 